Welcome! In today's IBM Cognos Analytics custom JavaScript control demonstration, we're going to review a custom control that allows you to freeze columns within lists or crosstabs using the new interactive viewer. This is using version 11, release 5 of Cognos Analytics. As you can see in this simple report, I have two lists and a crosstab. The first list, if we scroll to the left, you can see the first column is frozen. In the second one, there's two columns that are frozen. Then with the cross tab, you can see that the rows drop zone is frozen as well. And this is only works for a single item, not nested items on the rows drop zone. So in order to accomplish this, we'll design the report and I'll show you what the control does. Okay, as we design this report, I'm going to open up the properties so we can see a few things. Uh, first, I'm going to focus on this first list. Now you can see I've set the size and overflow to something, you know, to a large value, a thousand pixels within this first list. And then the trick is I put this list within a containing block. And then that block has a size and overflow that is less than the size and overflow that I assigned to the list, as well as, as, well as we select the option to use scroll bars only when necessary and I give the block a name because we're going to use that within our configuration file. Same thing for the second list. Again, I just gave it a size and overflow larger than what I want the scrolling area to be, and then I assign a block with a name, and then I set the scroll bars property and set the width to be less than the scrolling area. And then finally for the cross tab, same thing. Uh, we have the width and then a block that has a smaller area with the scroll bars enabled. If we look at the actual custom control, it just has a simple configuration, the name of the control, and then the name of the block the controls within. And then it is important that you put the custom control just below the block. So we'll look at that within a page structure. You can see that underneath the block is where I have the custom control. So in each case, here's the list, the list and then the cross tab and then the custom control is is just below the block so we'll move back to design view the module itself is just like other modules we've just placed this within the a directory within our cognos installation this would also work within a web server just somewhere that can access the file and then i have a folder and then the actual module itself is freeze columns and then the configuration file this particular configuration has three values that it uses two that are required the two that are required are the control name and the name of the block so we'll see that each of these have the control name and the name of the block then this particular one where I'm freezing more than one column I just set the columns to freeze to two. And then the cross tab, again, we're just naming the control and the block. So within the video description, there's a link to the following location, which is a box folder that contains a sample report specification as well as the custom control. And you can see here's the, the report specification. Okay, and here's the module. We'll just go over this real quick. Here's a sample configuration. The configuration has two required properties, control name and block. And then the third property, columns to freeze, is just if you want to freeze more than one column. One is the default. Then you just specify the number of columns to freeze here. We do some quick checking to make sure that you have a configuration file, to make sure that you have the two required properties. Then we go through, we set a unique ID so that you can use the same control on the page. We calculate the width of the columns that we need to freeze. And then basically we're just appending a, a copy of the, the list or the cross tab into a container that has the overflow value set to hidden, which enables the, the scrolling uh, behavior. And then we append that to the control itself using a, an offset function based on the block that you have specified. So this is why it's important that that block is is containing the control 
not only to enable the scrolling on the the property within the block but also so we can get the offset of the columns that we want to freeze and that's basically it okay the final thing that we're going to do today is create a quick report using this control so I have a new template set up with a list control we're just going to use the sample go cells query subject so I'll bring over a few data items into my list so that it's long enough to scroll I'll just select a handful of measures and then I'll take the order method type and we'll take the year bring that into our list okay now we're gonna set the properties for the list and we're gonna set the size and overflow to thousand and then we're gonna put this within a block so I'll go to the toolbox bring a block in bring my list into the block and then we'll set that block to have a size and overflow less than the thousand and then we'll use the scroll bars and then also I'm going to give it a name which will be used in the configuration yep. so I'll use block one okay now I'm going to bring my control over now one thing I mentioned earlier in the videos for the sample that I showed there were all the custom controls were below the list and that works or they can also be above in fact, if you're going to have paging where your list tabs up and down for the different pages, then you'll need to have it on top. The important thing is this have it outside the block. So if you see here, the custom control is outside the block that contains the list. Okay, so now we just need to set the configuration. First, we'll define our module path. I save that to the clipboard and then we need to set our configuration file which has two required parameters control name and that is list one and block and that is set to block one Click OK and then run the report and we should have the first column frozen and this also has paging, so you'll see how it still freezes the column when you page down. All right, so our first column is frozen. You can see we have a page down, a page down. Again, the first column is frozen. And if we want to set this up so that it freezes two columns, it's as simple as changing the configuration. So we'll add another entry, which is columns and this takes an integer and we'll just say two rerun the report then both order method as well as year will be frozen and page down it's working so that's everything I wanted to show today. Hopefully this control will be useful. Again, if you need to make modifications or changes to it, feel free. Thanks.